I'm going to show you now a great new feature called Live View Magnification. This is used if you've got um, a character that's really small in the frame or an object that's very small in the frame and you need to animate it, but it's hard to see because of its size. So I'm going to put something small in this frame. I'm going to put in this little copper cap here, something back far. It's a little copper cap. Now, if I needed to animate that, you can see it's very small in the frame. I could use the standard magnification, which may work. I could blow this up 200%. It's a little, it's a little fuzzy. Um, <clears throat> could work, but we've got something better now. In the animation tool palette, you click on the little magnifier. This function works with most of the new uh, Canon and Nikon DSLRs. So here's how it works. You go ahead and click on the zoom button and that gives you this uh, little square that I can move around the frame. And this does a hardware zoom, meaning instead of just blowing up the video, it's actually using all that uh, resolution that's on the chip to blow up the image. So I'll take it back down to the little, little brass bit there. And for sake of our shot, I'll get a little better focus here. There we go. Okay. So now that um, I like that position, now this position can be adjusted with um, these little nudging arrow keys. Once I like the position, I can then hold down the option key and click P1, and that saves that position. Uh, this is useful later in case I need to get back to animating at this size. Now, to be clear, even though the animator is going to be looking at video blown up, the actual shots that you shoot with Dragon uh, get downloaded from the camera, and those are those uh, wider shots, so the full resolution shots, not these blown up ones. The blown up ones get used as video guides for the animator. So now that um, we're looking at live view here, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot a frame. Okay, so now we've um, got one frame. I'll go back to frame one. That's saved. Frame there's frame two, which is live, the live view. We haven't shot it yet. I'm just gonna move this little guy a little bit. So we've got my little movement there. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that. Okay. Now if I wanted to see well, what are those frames really looking like, we can go into our cinematography window and here we can see that the, the actual frames there they are. Another way to look at the actual frames is to hit the high res button, hold it down, and now um, the high res frames are loaded in. There's my one and two. Okay, I'm going to go back to the video frames so this way I can see my animation, last frame to live, and I'll do one more little movement. Oops. That may have been a big movement. Let's see. Oh, it's not bad. Get a little cap moving. And I'll shoot that. Okay. And I can hit play. Now, um, at any point, if I decide to go back and animate with the uh, wider bit of the scene, I can go back and I can um, move on from there. So that is how the live view magnification works. Normally, uh, in these kind of situations, you would get out a separate video camera to do a close-up, but now we have the ability to do it right within Dragon with many of the cameras you already use.